In today's video, I'm going to be doing a video response to one of my most popular videos that I have on my channel, which is the Ford Ranger 300,000 kilometer common problems video. And one of the comments that I keep seeing over and over and over again is the you should have bought a Toyota instead comment. So I just want to start off with by saying this is not a video to debate Ford is better than Toyota or Toyota is better than Ford. I'm just going to be stipulating facts and whether buying a Toyota Hilux would have been the best move for me for the applications that I use my Ford Ranger for. And the two areas that I'm going to be specifically talking about is the most common problem on the Ford Ranger, which is the EGR cooler failure compared to the Toyota 1KD crack piston failure. So I'm going to be using a bit of footage off the channel 4x4 diesel as well as auto care. So I do recommend that you go check out their channels. I'll throw a link in the description below so you can access their catalog of videos because there's a lot of informative videos on the topic on both those channels. So without any further ado, let's roll the video. Anthony 4x4 diesel, we're going to show you a few cracked pistons here and you can work out what went wrong. This engine had done 100,000 Ks. It had a Steinbauer chip on it and it cracked a piston. Really important information if you've got a 1KD. That is a cracked piston. Good morning guys, Anthony e 4 Before Diesel. Just thought we'd do another really informative video on probably the hottest subject at the moment. It's been hot for a while, but it just doesn't need to be that hot. The cracked piston. Back on the topic of 1KD cracked pistons again. I've just been lucky enough to be in the situation where I've seen literally thousands of 1KD pistons. And this drum here is full of nothing but cracked pistons. And 100% of those will be cracked directly across the top of the gudgeon pin. The deadly combination with a 1KD is the fact that we have the area that cracks the most lining up to the weakest part of the piston that is a pivot point for the force. Okay. So it's no secret that the Ford Ranger has got a EGR cooler that fails and you can find heaps and heaps of videos online about that. It is a failure that if it fails, it can cause a catastrophic engine failure. You can get water that goes into your intake manifold and then into your cylinder, which will cause a hydraulic lockup. Essentially, it could bend your rod, it could blow a head gasket, and essentially leave your car requiring a new engine. I've covered this in my videos before, so I do recommend you search through my catalog and you can get better informed on that topic. The good news with the Ford Ranger is that you can actually blank and bypass your EGR cooler before it fails. Now I've covered this in my videos as well, and it's a quite an easy and cost-effective modification that you can do. It just requires you buying two blanking plates, which are about $20, as well as some 16 millimeter hose. You only need about a meter length and two hose clamps. And you can pretty much bypass the EGR cooler within about two hours. I've done this on my own Ford Ranger and I've done about 200,000 kilometers so far with the EGR blank and I've had no issues whatsoever. So now if we cross over to the Toyota Hilux 1KD, we can see that there is a recurring problem with the pistons cracking. And it's no secret, there are many YouTube videos on this. All you have to do is do a quick search and you'll constantly see videos popping up of the 1KD piston failure. So what happens when your piston fails? Well, essentially, there's only two things you can do, and that is to rebuild the engine or get a new long block from Toyota. Cost-wise, what are we looking at? Well, for an engine rebuild, you're probably looking at somewhere in the vicinity of eight to $10,000 plus labor. For a long block, from Toyota, I guess you'd be looking at anywhere between sort of ten to $12,000 plus labor. So in all, you're probably not gonna get much change out of $20,000. Now, I realize that with the 1KD, there are two sides to the story. I know that one side says that the 1KD piston failure is caused by chips and tunes and bad injectors, where the other side says that the 1KD piston failure is a design fault in the piston itself. Now, I'm not going to go into further discussion what causes the piston failure. You'll have to do your own research and make up your own decision of why the piston fails. But from what I can see, and this is just my personal opinion, 
The 1KD piston always fails in the same spot, which is right down the center of the piston. If you've got a piston that's constantly failing in the same spot, which is right down the center, you gotta to think to yourself, well, is it really injector related or is there an actual design fault in the piston itself? Okay, so now I'm gonna compare cost-wise the two failures that can happen on the Ranger and on the Toyota Hilux 1KD. So I've already had uh, EGR cooler failure and I fixed it myself for about $50 and it took me maybe an hour to two hours to fix. Not a problem, the car has been running perfect ever since, 360,000 kilometers now and still running strong. If I had the common failure of the piston on the Toyota 1 KD Hilux, I would have been easily out of pocket by now for $20,000. So essentially that there is enough to write the car off completely mechanically. So have I made the right decision in buying a Ford Ranger instead of a Toyota Hilux? Well, throw your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, see you guys later.